Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Benedict and I am a third year physiotherapy student at Wits University. In this video, we're going to be talking about what you need to know about studying physiotherapy in South Africa. So which universities can you apply to to study physiotherapy? The universities that offer the Bachelor of Science in Physiotherapy are the University of Cape Town, the University of Stellenbosch, UWC, the University of Free State, Sefako Mahato Health Sciences University, UP, Wits University, as well as UKZN. Secondly, what are some of the requirements to study physiotherapy? While each university has their own requirements, so in order for you to find this out, you can easily go online and do a Google search. I will try to leave some links in the description box for you to go and read up on the requirements. Secondly, you can also check out the university prospectus. I know for this university that it, for me to get in, I had to do the NBT test. So, so you need to find out the last date for you to do the NBT test and ensure that you do it on time or else your chances of being accepted will probably be decreased. Um, the other thing that you needed at this university was that you had to go and do some observation hours. So basically what this is, that you go and shadow a licensed physiotherapist at the hospital or at their practice and you just watch them for a couple of hours. Um, when I was there, um, I did 15 hours and I think I split it up between two days. So then after you do the observation hours, the licensed physiotherapist is required to fill in a form for you and sign and then you just hand in that form to VITS. Um, as proof that you did the observation hours. I think that the most important requirement, and this goes without saying, is that you try to get good grades. I'll try and insert a picture of my matric results just so that you have an idea of what my results looked like. To give a bit of a background into how I got into physiotherapy, um, I'd actually applied for three courses at FITS. I applied for medicine, physiotherapy, and biological science. Long story short, I didn't get into medicine, and on the day that I went to go and register for physiotherapy, they told me that um, I had waited too long to accept and that the spaces were full. So that was in 2018. In 2018, I went and studied biological sciences for one year, and then I applied for physiotherapy again, and then I got in in 2019. I think the nice thing about me studying biological sciences for one year, and then getting into first year of physiotherapy, was that I got gotten credits for the subjects that I did in biological sciences. So in biological sciences, you do mathematics, you do physical science, you do biology, and you do chemistry. And in first year physiotherapy, you do physics, chemistry, biology, and some other subjects. So for those three courses that I did in biological sciences, I got credited for them in physiotherapy. So I didn't have to redo those courses. I just had to do the other subjects in first year physiotherapy. So the courses that you do in your first year of physiotherapy are, like I mentioned, biology, chemistry, and physical sciences. But you also do introduction to physiotherapy, you do psychology, and you also do human behavioral sciences. Um, for your first year, you're mainly based at main campus, and um, your physiotherapy lectures and your physiotherapy practicals are all at education campus in Parktown. Um, for your second year courses, you do anatomy, physiology, and you do physiotherapy as well. These are all full year courses, and they are quite hectic. Um, for your second year physiotherapy, you're based at... Um, Parktown, so you'll have anatomy and physiology practicals and lectures at medical school, and then you'll have your physiotherapy practicals and lectures at um, education campus. This is how it was when I was there. Things did change a lot because of COVID, but this is mainly the structure of how things work. So in third year, the structure is quite different because in third year is when you start to do clinicals and you start to wear scrubs and all that exciting stuff. So from half past seven to 12, every single day, you have clinicals where you go to a hospital, you go to a primary school for peds, or you go to a clinic, depending on what block you're doing. There's six blocks in, um, in the year, so then you rotate between the six blocks. Each block is made up of four weeks. So for four weeks, you'll be based at one hospital or school or a clinic, and then the next block is the, you go to a different place, and it rotates like that for um, the six blocks. Um, so that's what you do every single day after 7 to 12, you're at clinics, and then from 12 to 1 it's a bit of a break, and then from 1 o'clock to 4 or 5 you have lectures. My lectures have been online, so I'll just come back home and then attend the online lectures. So 
some of them are pre-recorded so you don't actually have to watch them live so that is nice you can manage your time however you want and that's another thing that in third year time management is very very important because you're always tired you have a lot of work to do they're bombarding you with with work they're bombarding you with assignments presentations things that you have to do so time management is really critical and um, the courses that you do in third year are pharmacology you do medicine and surgery you do obviously your clinical physiotherapy you have rehabilitation you have physiotherapy and you also have research methodology now not all of these are full year courses some of them are only semester courses like research methodology yeah and you'll pretty much get the gist of how everything is run once you get to third year um, just in case you're interested, the six blocks that third year is made up of is pediatrics, public health, neurology, NMS, OPD, which is basically outpatients where people will come in with things like ankle sprains, knee pain, back pain. You also have um, orthopedics where you deal with people that are even in hospital that have had bone fractures and you also deal with cardiopulmonary physiotherapy, which is more so about um, doing chest physiotherapy for people who can't breathe properly. You do things like um, what we call percussions or manual therapy to help and um, maybe like remove secretions in the chest so that breathing is a lot easier. And finally, fourth year. So I can't speak too much about what happens in fourth year, unfortunately, because I'm still in my third year. But what I do know is that um, in fourth year, you still do have your clinicals and your lectures. However, clinicals are not from half past seven to 12 like in third year but they go from half past seven to about 4 p.m every day monday to friday and you do have some lectures on the side now just in case i didn't mention this in third year and fourth year every block you have to have um tests or exams depending on which block it is and you also submit presentations um every single block you're not placed at these blocks alone you can be placed with one or two other students so that when you do your presentations, you're always doing them in groups. So the courses that you do in fourth year are clinical physiotherapy, rehabilitation, um, physiotherapy, management for therapists, as well as research methodology. Alrighty, so we've come to the end of this video. Um, I hope this was beneficial for you. I hope this was informative. I just felt like there wasn't enough information or content about what really happens um, in physiotherapy in South Africa. So I hope this really helps to fill in that gap. Um, I'm very open to any video suggestions, any things that you want me to speak on. Um, you can just write it in the comments section. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Please do consider subscribing, liking this video and sharing. Thank you so much for watching and until next time.